Hey guys, Kirsty again here with another gameplay commentary for you all. This time on Resistance with, yes, the MP7. Don't hate me. I have been in a little bit of a gaming slump recently. Just, you know, haven't really had my heart in the game like I had. Been a little bit, I don't know, just not playing really well. I'd had some sort of stuff happen in my real life, which, you know, was really affecting my concentration, making me angry. So I was just not playing as well as what I have been. So I went back to basics, you know, which for me is the MP7. <laughs> and look, it really was worthwhile. It brought about 15 Moabs just in a weekend, you know, and that wasn't a big session either. That was just a couple of hours, really. So... You know, I feel a bit better about the game since then, I must admit. So I thought that I'd just post one of the games, and I thought I'd post a full game for once, just because of the few things I wanted to talk about in this commentary. And, yeah, it'll probably go for a little bit. <laughs> so I thought that this would be perfect. I'm actually playing this game with my little 12-year-old protege, who is actually my boyfriend's kid. He's the little AK-99 guy that you'll often see following me around. But no, he's great to play with and see that, of course. Type 95, sitting in a corner. Wow, that guy was skillful. Well, it would have been a flawless game if it wasn't for that. But you get that. So back to like gaming slumps again. What do you guys do when you're in a slump and you know, you're just not enjoying the game like you were. You're just not doing as well as you were. What are you guys' tips for just getting back into it? Because honestly, I don't know, I'm just getting a bit fed up with some of the stuff in this game. Not everything, you know, just things like the death streaks and just the bullshit that people do. Like, look at this right now. People just camping on their tags and kill confirmed on their tag insertions. And there's multiples of them doing it at once. Look, not that I'm going to complain too much in this case because we still bet them by quite a lot. And look, I managed to get the Moab, which I probably wouldn't have gotten quite as easily if these freaks weren't standing on their tack insertions. So hey, I can't really complain. But in some games it is really annoying when it's almost impossible to win as they're just jumping on their frigging tags straight away. So as you will see, I was just hiding from the AH6 right then because of course no one in my party actually had a class to take down air support other than me. Because I was on a kill streak, I wasn't about to kill myself to go and do it. So look, we just hid, seeing as we still had a nice lead. Because in this game, you'll really see how I do like to play kill confirmed. I don't collect all the tags if we're winning. If we're winning by a huge margin, I will pretty much leave a lot of tags as bait to get more kills. I know, that's pretty nasty. I sort of like to use them as claymores as well. You know, because if they're behind you and then, like, an enemy picks them up, you can hear it. So, you know, it's like having 20 claymores in a game. So, <laughs> look, I love to win, but I also want to do well at the same time and have fun. And if that means extending the game to just farm some noobs, well, that's what I'm going to do. Because, sorry, you can't do that against a good team. A decent team who's playing together, you're not going to be able to play the way that I'm playing. You're going to have to play the objective if you want to win. But unfortunately, sometimes the other team's just so much weaker than my team that what am I meant to do? It's like people who complain about spawn trapping on domination and demolition. But when one team's just so much stronger than the other, there's no other way around it. Like shit, you know, I'm not going to give them kills they don't deserve. I'm not just going to stand out in the open and let them shoot me just so that they can feel a bit better about their game. <laughs> So yeah, onto the real topic of what I actually wanted to talk about today, and that is these new prestiges. As I'm sure you guys have probably all heard, Robert Bowling recently tweeted that PC had just been patched to include an extra five prestige levels for now, and in future, another five will be added. Personally, don't ask me why you'd bother to add more prestiges when there's still multiple things broken about this game that need to be dealt with and probably never will be dealt with knowing Infinity Ward. 
And honestly, these companies need to stop thinking that just adding some more levels to their game is going to just magically make people want to play it more and more. Because look, that's not the case. If a game's good, you're going to want to play regardless. It's not about ranking up, it's about the fun, about the competition. I've played many games in the past where prestige isn't even an issue. And I've still known people who've played these games for thousands of hours. So clearly it's not just about ranking up. And the quicker that these companies understand that, the better. Because frankly, I don't think I'm going to bother to go any further. I've been 10th prestige for a while now. Probably about 3 or 4 days of actual in-game playtime I've been sitting on 10th. So I've got a lot of weapons ranked up, and I mean a lot. Multiple shotguns, things like that. Things that are a little bit difficult to rank up and take a little bit of time. And honestly, I really can't see myself wanting to lose these things after spending all that time on ranking them up. I really don't want to. And honestly, one of the things that I'm most enjoying about this game at the moment is the freedom to actually be able to use anything I want. Any class I want, any pro perk I want, any combination of things in the game. And honestly, that's one of the few things that's keeping me playing this game at the moment, is the variation. And taking that away again with prestige, I'm just not interested anymore, honestly. So what I really want to know though, is what you guys feel about it. Because I'm sure not everyone's been 10th prestige for a few days like me. And I'm sure some of you other guys are probably pretty excited about it, as my 12-year-old stepson is. Although he isn't even at first prestige, he's probably never going to see 15th prestige, let alone 20th. But of course, still excited. So let me know how you feel in the comments, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Bye!